What's up everybody, welcome back to another Ray Pro Quick Tip Tutorial. I am Clovo and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Vintage Mellotron, which was recently updated or tweaked a little bit in version 10.4. Some people don't even know that it exists, but it's good for creating also another layer of that vintage sound that's good for any type of music, but especially important for hip hop beats, you know, if you want to keep some of that vintage sound and the plugin version of Logic Pro X just mimics the real world instrument. You can Google that and see all the details about it, but it works by using tape heads and tapes and accessing different sounds from a tape library. But anyway, I want to keep this as short as possible. I said it was a quick tip tutorial, so let's go into the Logic Pro X window and I have something here that I want to demo at the end, but then I'm just going to start with track number one to show you the instrument itself. This is how it looks. And it's in the very bottom of the instrument list. And there's two sections. So the section on the top, you can access the sounds themselves from a list. You can have more than one from the list and then you can blend them with this uh, knob. You can also control the transposing of it in octaves independently of what you can do in the keyboard with this transpose buttons and then at the bottom you have the global parameters right so this is going to control the whole instrument itself so as i said the real world instrument uses tapes so this is why this parameter here is called tape speed which is going to be similar to something like the pitch control that the real world instrument uses and then you have some extended parameters here at the bottom with some attack and release. But now I'm just gonna play a few notes and play around with this uh, parameter so you can get a feeling for it, it's very simple. All right, now I'm just playing the violin. If I go all the way to the right. Now I can combine both. Can probably change that. You can make it brighter, you can make it warmer. And you can also play around here, but I'm not going to do that. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. You can combine stuff here, like I said, and then blend them in and create very distinctive sounds. Now I'm going to just demo what I try to recreate here. Some of that kind of night is uh, grimy or hip hop, something like more Wu-Tang Clan sounding. Let's see what I did there. <laughs> Nothing much to it, and those three are different uh, combinations of sounds. So you can see that you have a lot of possibilities to achieve with this. As I said in the beginning, this plugin was recently revamped in 10.4 to mimic better the real life instrument. The difference, like I also said, that the you can loop the sound in the plugin version infinitely while the real world instrument just has like a set length for each of the samples. I think it stops at eight seconds or something like that. But anyway, that's all I wanted to show you here. As a reminder, if you found value in this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel, Clormo. And like this video, if you have any comments or questions, use the comment section and we can chat up a little bit. And if you want to stay up to date with everything else that I'm doing, pay me a visit at clormoindustries.com. See you in the next one. Peace out. Peace.